Hey everybody and welcome. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're gonna talk about layers and how we use them. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed and hit the notification icon. It's really helpful to me to know how many people are interested in seeing my content. And a big thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Your support means a hell of a lot to me and you're awesome. If you are interested in supporting the channel, links to Patreon are in the description below. So layers is something that's fairly common in photo editing software now, but was it used to be something that was actually pretty much just exclusive to Photoshop. And the reason we use it is to allow us to do non-destructive editing, which means we can edit an image without actually adjusting or changing the original until we're ready to commit those changes. So if I was to pull up an image that I've created like so by dragging that image into my edits window, I've now created a new layer. And if I wanted to, I could turn off the padlock on the bottom layer and delete that. So Lucy Winter now becomes the background to this image. Now, what I can do is I can add a blank layer, which is just an empty layer. Think of it as a sheet of film that I've just laid across this photo here, which will allow me to make all kinds of wacky edits on the top of this. And then I can add another one, and change the color so that it's blue and then do this again. And what this allows me to do is I can now hide that layer and only see the edits that I've made on top. And this is what we call non-destructive editing because I can switch these layers on and off and the original image hasn't been adjusted in any way, shape or form. What I can also do is if I was to rasterize this layer, i.e. turn it into a simple raster image, I can now copy that image and I could do all kinds of things like liquefy the image with the liquefy tool. I'm using my square brackets to make that nice and big. I can make her look weirdly thin, for example. And then when I hit OK, that's made those adjustments. But again, I can just hide or delete that layer if I've made edits that I don't particularly like. And that's really the beauty of using layers. The second type of layer that we have is called the adjustment layer, which is available from either the adjustment layer tab, or you can click on this half moon icon here, and it will give you a drop down menu of the adjustment layers available. An adjustment layer is a layer which we can bring in. So let's say I bring in a hue and saturation layer and I drag the saturation all the way down and that affects the whole layer. But what we can do is each adjustment layer has the ability to mask. So we've got our black color selected with our paintbrush tool. And I could, if I wanted to, just paint over the character. That obviously I've done a sloppy job of it for the purposes of this demonstration. But now you can see that the desaturation applied by that adjustment layer is only affecting the areas that I haven't masked out or more correctly, those areas are still marked in and I have removed the mask by using the black brush in this area of the photo. And I can also do the same things to these layers. I can apply a layer mask and then I can hide them like so. The information is still there in the layer, but the layer mask has hidden them out. So if I were to press the X key to bring the white brush back up, I can paint those areas back in in the layer mask. And that's also a very, very handy techniques that we can use in editing our photos. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.